Hey, good news gamers, you already may be superior to your non-gaming counterparts in the realms of hand-eye coordination, spatial awareness, and freaky dexterity, and now, as it turns out, you're also probably better dreamers. Probably. <laughs> According to psychologist Jane Gackenbach, Gacken what? Gackenbach. Hardcore gamers are more likely to go nai nai with the ability to experience lucid dreams. And Gackenbach believes there is a direct correlation between button mashing and mashing the gray stuff in the sleep state. She states, the major parallel between gaming and dreaming is that in both instances, you're in an alternate reality, whether a biological construct or a technological one. It's interesting to think about how these alternate realities translate to waking consciousness, when you are actually reacting to inputs from the real world. You see, it's all about control. Hardcore gamers immerse themselves in alternate worlds several times a week, so the brain becomes accustomed to controlling sprites or characters in the dream state, even if that character is you yourself. And another added bonus of the game-trained brain is the ability to switch between the first and third person point of view. So essentially, I could fall asleep, take control of my dreams, start out in first person shooter mode and switch cameras and rock a classic side scroller or 3D platformer. Gackenbach also thinks the hardcore gamer is less likely to suffer negative effects of experiencing nightmares, basically because it's like the brain going on a frickin' adventure and presenting the dreamer with a quest to vanquish evil. Imagine if you could level up your brain by grinding through nightmares. That would be sweet. You could have anyone in your party and fight anything that you wanted. You could be like, hey Joe, did you sleep well? Hell yeah I did. I traversed the depths of hell with a party that included Cloud Strife, the Lorax, and Teddy Roosevelt. We fought a couch. Bizarre, maybe, but Gackenbach says that gamers also retain the ability to dream more bizarre dreams, and I suspect that spending hours in worlds not of our own expands the possibilities envisioned in our subconsciousness. It's all very interesting stuff, so I encourage you to dive into the article and the study provided in the description below, and if you want to dream bigger and better, go to Gamefly.com SourceFed and get yourself some free video games on us. I want you to experience faraway realms in your brain spot. And your participation also helps us out too. So it's a win-win for everybody. You guys, I'm Joe Beretta. Thank you for your time. I love you. And sweet dreams.